Harry Meredith. Are those your names for pre and post transition? Because you look like a sea otter fuck the Disney Channel. <laughs> That's a compliment. They're adorable. Uh, Ariel looks like a librarian who can't read. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those are the hotter ones. <laughs> um, actually, in high school, Harry's high school girlfriend gave him a purity ring, and he still wears it around his cock. <laughs> it's a small ring. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we are. Uh, Ariel is a huge slut. Uh, <laughs> so that was a riff. But, uh, Ariel, uh, this is true, it has a spreadsheet of all the guys she's ever fucked. And yet, she still somehow manages to look like she just saw a dick for the first time. Always surprised, it's the eyebrows. <laughs> um, uh, Harry is in a, a popular boy band called One Directile Dysfunction. <laughs> we, know he, we know he can't sing though, because if he could, a Disney Channel exec would have molested him by now. <laughs> <laughs> If that's true, why am I hard right now? Okay. I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't know either. It's probably because Seinfeld's looking at me, but um, all right. Probably because I'm Jewish and you're a youth Nazi. I'm 5%. <laughs> okay. All right. At least Nazis are look good looking, you know? All right. <laughs> Whatever. We're well dressed. Who the fuck knows? That was kind of their whole thing. Whatever. Whatever. That's that's cool. I feel bad, honestly. All right. <laughs> about the Holocaust. About the Holocaust. I feel bad. The rest is fine. Okay. Uh, I'm in a roast. I'm in a roast. Uh, Ariel's Jewish. Ew, right? No. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Ariel's Jewish, uh, which is surprising because she looks like her own reflection in a Christmas ornament. <laughs> You know what? We wrote the fucking music, so whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, Harry actually swipes right on trans women so he can bully them for being fat. They shouldn't be fat. All right. Um, <laughs> that's on them. Uh, at 4'10 and a half, Ariel is too short to ride any roller coaster, but apparently just the right height to ride as many cocks as humanly possible. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. It's, uh, tell your dad hi from me. Um, he's dead, folks. That, he's dead. He's very dead. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> that was That's nice. called reparations, folks. Thank that you. That was nice. Um, actually, Harry has a really popular TikTok that all it's just videos explaining why it's not incest if your sister pegs you. <laughs> I know there's layers on that one. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Um, that's why it's so popular. People agree. Um, Ariel has the same name as a Disney princess, but she doesn't look like one. Uh, she looks more like Disney made an eighth dwarf called Downsy. Last joke, guys. Last joke. Well, we have two more. <laughs> um, here's some... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, first of all, Logan Polyp, yours would be rapey, so chill the fuck out, all right? All rapey right. gets lots of pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you are so young, if you look in the mirror while jerking off, you're a pedophile. <laughs> he has to stay 500 feet away from Zoom school. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ariel has a Star Wars tattoo, which makes a lot of sense because she looks like one of the creatures that Jabba the Hutt keeps as a pet. You mean like Leia? <laughs> she's, she's like the hottest person in the movie. That was my fiance laughing back there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, Harry looks like the lacrosse stick he has to shove up his ass just to get hard. It's a long pole, folks. It's a D pole. Anyone who gets, all right. Whatever, that's an inside lacrosse joke. All right. Uh, yeah, inside uh, each other. When Ariel isn't working as secretary for Monsters, Inc. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I've been practicing that voice for 20 years. 
Somehow his eyes are less fucked up than yours. <laughs> All right. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was that was a mean. I regret it. But I do have a joke I need to read. All right. Uh, she actually uh, works as a. S- she actually works as a speech therapist for kids who are nonverbal. Uh, and she says she prefers to uh, teach kids who are nonverbal because that way they can't tell their parents how much of a mongo whore their teacher is. I don't actually know what that means, but good one. Thank you. I felt and like that's a battle! Oh my god, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, I, I really like that the, 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 the Holocaust camp judge got along with someone he wants in his prison. That's really great. Let's keep it moving. Let's get the lights on over here. Uh, Tim Smith, you want to start us off? Uh, got, got kind of a blowout, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> I really, you seem like the sweetest man on our. I love that you would say something horrible. You'd be like, yeah, this chick's a total fucking slut. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I called you a huge slut. Yeah. You are a huge slut, though, but I can't believe I said it. I just really love that. Uh, blowout win, in my opinion. Harry, it's for you, my friend. All right, we got one for Harry, one for Harry. Gabriel. Dude, I, I thought Ariel was winning at first, and then when you were like, yeah, they shouldn't be fat. <laughs> Dude, I, then I liked you, and then a joke bombed, and then you're like, inside lacrosse joke. And I was like, dude, I want to kick your fucking ass, dude. <laughs> I, you look like you got a haircut today just for this event. Like, I don't like you, but you won. I think you won. Yeah. All right, two for Harry, two for Harry. Kaylee Horton. Oh, my God. This is crazy. First of all, you guys look like a busy single mom and her disgruntled middle, stage, <laughs> middle school child. I am flustered. That was crazy. I don't... It was Harry. I'll give it to Harry. All right, Harry gets it. Let's keep it going. Chris Greco. What's up? Um, man, that was great. That looked like a principal disciplining her hottest middle schooler. That's my fantasy. Thank you. That was great. Harry, what uh, hockey position do you play? The stick? Um, <laughs> that one sucked. You guys should Still know. doesn't score. <laughs> I was going to give it to Ariel, but then you just were so fucked up, dude. Like, you went, dude, number one, downsy. <laughs> then the anti Semitism. Who could forget the anti Semitism? <laughs> And then when you hit it with the Mike Wazowski, it was over. But uh, both of you were awesome. Great first time on the show, man. Uh, g- good job. Great battle for both of you. Last thing, a lot, of, a lot of your fucking comebacks, Ariel, did not get the credit they deserve. Very funny. That was an awesome battle. Katie, wrap us up. Oh, man, I really like a boy band versus band from boys. <laughs> <laughs> This was so much fun. I was same as Chris. I like Ariel was killing it in the beginning, and then Harry's just little comebacks. Like he didn't even know what he was saying when he was saying it. I love when you're like, uh, Ariel's Jewish. Ew, right? That was planned. I had ew written on the card. Just saying. I had there was an arrow and it said ew in parentheses. I read the room and they liked it. I see the card. Let me see the fucking card. He's gonna frame it later. You can't keep it. I will say I don't think I've ever seen a roast battle where half of the roast he immediately apologized afterwards. (laughs) So fucking funny. Downsy one directional dysfunction. That that was super fucking good. Overall though, I just loved Harry's like little comebacks in the end. I'm gonna go with Harry. All right, Harry's your winner. Give it up as well for Harry and Julie. What a battle! Make some noise for him. Thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.